Hi guys, I have tried to record this video and so I finally just said forget it, I'm just going to go live um, because I am trying to get some um, journals finished because and I am oh. trying to get some... Sorry, I heard a feedback there. So I don't know if anybody will be able to get on because this was very impromptu. And just to be quite honest, it's because I was being lazy. Um, I, I don't feel like editing a video today or anything. So I'm just, um, it is what it is. Um, I have several journals, <coughs> excuse me, that I have to finish. Um, I think I have seven plus I still have to finish up Miss Deanna's um, that got messed up when i um, oh, Speaking of Miss Deanna, there is Miss Deanna. Um, so I have the seven journals plus the one um, of Miss Deanna's that I have to get completed. Um, so I am just, these journals have been completed for a while. I don't even have the paper pads anymore, um, most likely. Um, so it's not any kind of tutorial. And like I said, I sat down here. And I tried to do this video like three different times. And then I said, forget it. I'm just going to go live. I'm not even going to stress over it. Because um, I'm being lazy. I don't feel like editing a video. I just, uh, it's crazy. Um, I am actually in my living room because my craft studio is still full of all the stuff from um, the craft fair. And I don't want to put it up until... I, um, you know, have done a video for you guys to go over everything from the craft fair. And so probably it would have been better if I had just went ahead and done that video and then put all that stuff up and then went into my studio, but that would make too much sense. So you guys know I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> so I am just... Um, trying to get this done um, because for some of these I am actually meeting the lady tonight to pick up a couple of them so I don't have a lot of time to get this done um, and I'm just I'm tired I've, I'm like really tired um, yesterday I came home from the craft fair and I had stuff I needed to do. Um, Miss Deanna, I, I've done okay. Um, the weather was really nasty yesterday. And um, it was cloudy and drizzly all day. And so um, I didn't do quite as well as I thought that I would. I mean, and when I tell y'all this craft there was huge, we probably had... 10,000 people or more that were there. And, you know, I talked to some of the other vendors and they all were in about the same situation where, and I saw, you know, I made my vendor fee, my booth fee back and I made a little bit extra. Um, but, you know, a lot of them said that the people, there was so many people, but a lot of them were just like browsing and, didn't buy as much so I thought that was a little strange but you know it is what it is but not a lot I can do about it but it was just weird um because the craft fair was just it was it was huge I mean it was it really was huge but um I don't know I just especially with the amount of people that were there and all I really thought that it would have done a lot better than what it did but you know I'm I'm not upset it is what it is it's nothing to stress over um so I am just trying to let me get to some of my I have some ephemera all over the place y'all I really do I have you know and I've got stuff all stacked beside me because I'm trying to working here rather than doing what I need to do and putting the stuff up from the craft fair. 
I am, instead I am probably doing a lot more work by just trying to make this work, but you guys know I do things crazy. So I'm just trying to put some ephemera in this um, and get this filled up so that I can get this one off of my desk. Um, I have six more other than this one, plus um, I have to um, redo um, Miss Deanna's. Um, yes, ma'am. I actually, I do have a few items um, that I have. In fact, I have three of, <clears throat> excuse me, the um, altered little golden books that I am going to, um, I don't know if I'm gonna, going to put them in my Etsy or just offer them for sale here on my channel. Um, but I have those and I probably will put some of the other items um, in Etsy. Um, but I do have, um, several, um, well, I'm not, not several. I have three, um, altered little golden books that I am going to, um, sell. And like I said, I just don't know if I'm going to do them on here or my Etsy. I'm, I'm thinking probably just, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, offer them on here and um, just do maybe, I don't know, because Etsy gets so much of my money. They really do. They're like, oh, it's gotten crazy as to how much they take now. So, I don't know. That's my thought process, but I can show you all those journals in a few minutes, The three that's going to be offered and they're some of my lower price point journals because um not that there's they're um a lower quality but they're ones that i did not sew the signatures in they have the elastic and then um so you know i just i'm not gonna sell them they're not the quality is not, I mean, the quality is not downgraded in any means, but it's just the amount of stuff and all that I have in them that it's not like my normal journal. So these will probably be like um, $35 and then maybe $10 shipping. So $45 for an altered little golden book. Um, if I can, I might can do them for cheaper than that. And if I can... Um, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will do them for $35 shipped. That should, let me, well, before I say that, let me get on UPS, USPS, and just see what the shipping would be. And then it'll be, I'll do 25 plus the shipping and then. So I am just trying to decorate this up a little bit and I'll do that and then I will I'll jump on to the um, post office website and just see what it would be and then I'll show you guys the journals um, because I did have a few left only well I mean I had three left that was it and I had um, hmm, did I have maybe 10 or so of them I had quite a few so and I don't know how, I'm stressing over decorating this journal because I have just, I don't have this paper collection anymore. So I am having to fly by the seat of my pants with this one. And I mean, that's what I'm doing. I'm just going with the flow. So I'm just going to do that. And I think what I may do is I may make this into a tag. So I am going to bag this because I really don't want this right here so I'm going to back this with some coffee dyed paper and I'm going to make this into a tag instead of look at y'all see that it's clogging up already why why 
Please tell me why. Mm. You saw my rooster, didn't you? Thank you, Miss Deanna. This is one I've had this one done for so long. I don't even have the paper pad anymore. And so I'm like stressing out trying to get the um the ephemera because I normally like to do the ephemera to match, you know, the paper collection, which I guess I'm, you know, I'm gonna have to figure it out now because I may have the pa I don't know. It I just don't know where it is, so I'm going to just have to go with it. And in fact, the um, what I covered the spine with was out of a, oh God, what is that paper pad? It's, I get it, I used to get it from Ukraine. Hey, Tammy. Yes, that root rooster is absolutely gorgeous but he is a devil and when I started trying to do the video a while ago before I went live I was trying to do a video to post and that joker heard me in here and he come flying to my front porch y'all he drives me crazy I don't know what his issue is and he hasn't always been like that he just started in the last month I don't know. I have no idea. So, if any of you guys have any ideas on what I need to do for embellishments on this journal, I, you know, I won't be upset if y'all tell me. Because I am like, my creative thing is just, I'm mojo kind of, it decided to leave for a little bit. I think I'm just tired. I think that's like my biggest thing. I'm going to cut that piece off. I can hear that rooster. He's outside my door. I don't, y'all will probably hear him in just a minute. Because when he hears me in here, he will get going. He absolutely will. Uh, yeah, he's about to be. I told him he's going to make some good chicken and dumplings or something. And y'all, I, I tote a, um, I don't have it right here, but I literally tote a metal pole with me every time I walk out the door because he's so mean to me that I'm scared to go out without it. And I have connected upside his head a couple times and y'all know he still comes at me. I'm like, you idiot. Okay, so I'm not sure what I'm going to put in the journal. And you guys, I mean, in the envelopes. And you guys know when I do the envelope journals, I like to do stuff on the back. So this will be no different because I need to do something. <clears throat> I don't want to make it too heavy. I'm thinking, guys. Y'all know that's awful when I start thinking. Um, I think I know kind of what I want to do. Let's see if I can do it. So if I fold this right here. Um, he doesn't attack the little kid. My two-year-old granddaughter, she can actually walk up to him and pet him and he's perfectly fine but me and actually any other adult um which we don't let them you know we don't let her out and about in the yard or anything um by ourselves so we're always right there but still um of course she is the chicken whisperer She's almost three, and she has her little bitties, and I mean, she she loves her little chickens. And y'all, she is so upset right now. Um, she's the one, my little granddaughter, she's the one that um, you might have seen on one of my lives where, um, I'm going to use my 
advertise for this so I don't warp my paper. Um, she was holding her uncle's um, bearded dragon and the big one. And so her mom and dad had went and bought her a bearded dragon. Um, they bought a baby so that um, he would be accustomed to being handled and, you know, just to make sure that he had imprinting. Now, I guess you can say that's what we call it with the horses. I don't know if you call it the same thing with other animals. Um, but so that he would be, a, you know, grow up being handled by her and, um, just not be unsocial, I guess. And, um, so Elena loved her little Marshall and she's, that's the blizzard she had whenever I walked out of the, um, the door one day or she called me and she's like, she wanted me to come see her, um, lizard, her dragon. And so I had walked out there and I was like, um, where's your dragon? She goes, he's out here. I said, Elena, I don't see your dragon, baby. Where's your dragon? He by here. Y'all, I looked, and this little bearded dragon was up in her hairline. Like, just hanging out. And she was as happy as she could be. But anyway, um, Marshall died um, Thursday night. Um, he was five months old. And so Victoria has talked to several of the people that are in, you know, the bearded dragon groups that she's in. And she said that's apparently, and they had bought him from a pet store. And so that's, I think, like the first negative don't do. And they said if you can get him past um, six months, you know, they'll be okay. And Marshall was five months, but they had um, put him to bed Wednesday, Thursday night um, in his um, tank. And Victoria, like, she really takes care of him. And um, she had put him to bed in his tank. And his um, lamp turns off at 10, and it comes on at 8 in the morning. And she said, you know, they put him in there, and his light went off just a few minutes later. And he went in his, the hide and she said, you know, that he don't normally go in there, but it's not that much out of the ordinary. And, um, so, um, he was fine and, um, they got up the next morning, his light come on at eight and normally Marshall comes out right at eight o'clock because, um, he know Elena's going to get him and like Elena literally walks around the house with Marshall on her shoulders all day long. And uh, Victoria said he didn't come out of the hide. And she said, you know, that was a little strange, but sometimes they can go into um, what's almost a hibernation um, reptiles like that can. So she thought maybe that's what was going on. And she said, but, but at noon when Marshall still didn't come out and Elena was wanting her, her dragon, she went over there and she reached into the hide to get him out. And she said he didn't, you know, he didn't try to move or run. But again, that wasn't strange because he's been handled so much. But she said when she pulled him out, he was limp and he had died. And they don't know why. Um, like I said, she had been in contact with a lot of people in the different groups and stuff. And they said it's almost like SIDS, especially with um, pet store reptile babies. And she said the saddest thing was, oh, I'm sorry, I hit the thing, was um, Elena grabbed him and was holding her little dragon and crying and begging him to just wake up. You know, I can't stand it. That just kills me. Okay, so this is the paper that I'm using in addition. Fabrica de Decora, I don't know. Um, I got it from the Ukraine but, you know, with everything that's going on, I don't think you can get it anymore. I don't know. I know the seller that I was getting it from, I can't get it from. Um, so I'm just trying to, because like I said, I don't have this paper pad anymore. So I'm like trying to piecemeal papers and stuff. Um, let me get that blue. I wonder if I can get that blue piece that I just had. And that was actually from a fish um, paper collection that I used for the 
What did I do with it then? Guys, y'all know how I lose stuff. I still lost it just that quick. Oh my gosh. Y'all. Why can I not keep up with anything, guys? I mean, it's bad. <sighs> okay, well, let's just see what we have in here. Maybe I've got something in here I can use. Let's just see. Mm, no. I don't know. I do have the papers in here. Ah, I'm throwing everything down, though. That's why I say it would have been better for me to have just done my craft fair video and then put the stuff in the shed and then be in my craft room to do this video. But nope. You guys know that would have made too much sense. Therefore, I didn't do it. Okay, so I'm pulling. I have tons of papers right here. So I'm just pulling some of these. Ah! As I knock everything over and out and down and you name it. Okay. So I want something kind of blue. That might look good. What do you guys think? Let's see what else we have. This is a lot of my six by six paper, but see, this is mostly Tim Holtz there, which doesn't really go with the theme of that journal. Some of my cowboy papers. Mm -hmm -hmm. These colors actually go. Okay, so these will work. Yep. I have no idea where that paper pad is, or if that's all I have of that paper pad. But. I can make it work. So how is everybody else doing? I'm I'm just sitting here running my mouth and attempting to craft and not really getting too far. So how are all of you guys doing? Okay, so sorry, that was the one of the ladies that's picking the journal up um, messaged me. So, um, yeah, but how are you guys doing? Did y'all have, has anybody done any craft fairs or y'all have any coming up with, you know, Christmas, what, two weeks from today? It's crazy. Like, when did that happen? I thought. It was just New Year's, wasn't it? That's good, Miss Deanna. I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and bust my butt this week and get your stuff that I'm so aggravated because I thankfully your journal was, you know, it's the Tim Holtz one that got messed up. And so thankfully, you know, I have it still have tons of Tim Holtz paper to fix it. Or redo parts of it, whatever. But and I tried to talk to the post office, and they were like, they didn't care. Jerks. Okay, so I do have some papers that match, so I am happy now. Okay. So I need to. What about if I map this down? If I could find that blue piece of paper that I done the um pocket with that would be perfect. Ah. Guys, I don't know what Chuck will do with me. So you know what? We're just gonna get another one out because I really want to use it. And I am just tr trying to get this done so that I can there he goes. He's going to come out and he's going to, y'all probably hear him in just a minute because he's going to, um, when he hears me talking, dealing with my son. Uh, oh, goodness. I'm trying to get my little shot running. So I just finally hear him. 
that's all you have can do tammy i was terrified to start um my etsy i was terrified to do my youtube channel there was so many things that i i'm just really scared one two three and a half um but you know you're you'll never get it done if you always let you know the fear control you and i am preaching to myself right now so don't even think i'm saying this to you because this is you know my thing as well i am I start thinking about all the what ifs and you know and it's like I told somebody at the craft show yesterday I said you know the thing is when you do something it's not and if it doesn't turn out the way you want it to it's not a failure not at the not in the least even though it may look like a failure it's not but it's just showing you one way that it doesn't work. So it, uh, it eliminates that and, you know, it helps narrow it down to finding different ways to do something. Um, you know, we don't go through life and everything work out perfectly for us. Unfortunately, I wish it did. But you know open your shop if you need help if it's your an etsy shop if you need help um let me know i'll be more than happy to help um one thing i will say when you do an etsy shop and you open it is to pick a brand like whether um like your the name of your shop the style you know your colors and that kind of stuff and be consistent with that all the way through so that if somebody sees one of your listings yeah my anxiety is beyond crazy i really battle that but that's the thing is i battle it i don't let it take charge of me um but with your etsy you know if it's an etsy you're trying to open um God, why did the AC come on right now? Y'all may not be able to hear me, and I cannot turn the stupid thing off. So, I hope it's not too loud. Yeah, it's that hot down here that the AC is coming on. Um, but anyway, with like an Etsy or any store, anything that you do. Hi, Jody. Um, just be consistent in your branding. Um, in the way that you um, advertise your listings so that anybody can see it. And Instagram is great. Um, Tammy, if you, you know, whenever you decide you want to stick your feet in the water with Etsy, message me and I will see what I can do to help you. I don't mind at all. Um, not in the least. Um... You know, it, oh, cool, wonderful. I would love to see pictures of them. Thank you, Jody. Thank you so much. I just um, sent another one to the publisher today. Um, and hopefully that one is published soon. And it is Farm Life. And I've done a lot of extra ephemera and stuff for it. So I'm hoping. So what, um, what all books did you, have you bought yet, Judy? Which ones? I'm so happy. I'm so proud of them. I really am. And I, it's, that takes a lot for me to say that I'm proud of something that I've done. Because I am very, um, I don't know. Oh, you haven't ordered any yet? Oh, I can't wait to see which ones you get. Um, my favorite of the ones that um, are on Amazon right now. Um, let me show you my favorite. Y'all got, you guys I already know which one. It, I mean, and it was crazy because the one I thought would be my favorite. Is, 
Etsy fees and stuff um, can be a little steep, but you have to incorporate that into your um, prices. Um, just, Tammy, you can do it, and I'll, I can help you. The vintage flowers, I, now I do love the vintage flowers. I do have to say, yes, Miss Deanna, you need some of these in your lives, in your life, whatever. I do love the vintage florals. I cannot, I cannot deny that. You guys know that I love flowers, roses, and I love this collection. I love this. But I have to say, I think, I'm thinking that this one is my favorite right now. Just because of how bright and vivid the colors are that I used. I don't know. I just, I'm not sure. I just really... For some reason, I'm loving this one. Oh, goodness. Are you okay now, Jody? I'm wondering if I can use some of those in here. Man, COVID is rough, guys. I, I've had it twice. Can you believe that? And I've been vaccinated. But I've still had it twice. Crazy. Hey, that's a good thing. As long as you're on the upswing, keep it that way. Sure, keep it that way. Because, oh. So, I, guys, I, I don't know if y'all are catching up or for you that are just now joining. I'm just trying to decorate some journals that I need to deliver. Um, and I was just sitting here doing this and I figured I'd bring you guys along real quick for a few minutes because I've not um Tammy you can um email me um my email address is should be in the description of the description posted um if not it's Betty B-E-T-T-Y D as in David money M-O-N-E-Y at gmail.com um, Jody, it was a weird craft fair, um, craft fair. Um, it was very busy, very, very, very busy. Um, probably 10,000 plus people. And the foot traffic was there all day long. But, um, and I talked to some of the other vendors and they were the same way. The people just... They weren't buying as much um, as you would have thought that they would with the amount of people that were there. So I made my booth fee back and I did make a little bit of money, but nothing at all like I thought that I would. Um, so Miss Deanna and I were talking a little bit earlier on the chat here. And I am going to be, um, I have three altered little golden book journals left. And I will offer them for sale here. Thank you, Jody. Tammy, um, Tammy, you can do it. You can absolutely do journals. No reason to be scared. I mean, what what's gonna happen? There, you can't do one, anything wrong on them. Yeah, just make them. But anyway, um, so there was a lot of foot traffic, but um, just not as many people buying, I guess. Um, I'm not sure what the deal was. So I didn't sell near as much as I had hoped to, but I did do, you know, I done good. Um, you know, Jody, the thing, it's like I was telling somebody out there, I said, the biggest thing is I enjoy it. You know, whether I make money at it or not, it, you know, that's kind of, yeah, I would definitely love to do it and make money. But my biggest thing is I just enjoy doing it. And so to me, as long as I as long as I had fun, then I counted a win. Um, and I did have fun. I absolutely did. I met some one of my subscribers, uh, Miss Betty, um, drove over from Perry, I think it was, and I met her, and that was pretty neat to meet her, and I met her beautiful daughters. 
and I don't remember one of them's name, but I do remember her daughter, Beth. And y'all, Beth is a sweetheart, so y'all make sure to say hello to Beth. And Beth showed me a beautiful thing that she she and her father had picked out. And it was absolutely beautiful. So Beth, if you're watching, hello. And I met a few other people that um, have since subscribed, and they were wonderful ladies. So you know, for me, I don't care that I didn't. Say, I'm happy. You know, and that's the biggest thing. Um, I'm very happy. So, yes, y'all, please tell Beth hello. She is a lovely, lovely, lovely young lady. But, okay, I don't, I'm not even telling you guys what I'm doing. Y'all just see me just like, boop, boop, working, you know, throwing stuff in here. So, y'all know I like to put stuff on the back of my envelopes. And so, what I've done is this is a pocket see that but it's also now a flip um i don't know that i'm going to put anything else in um this flip because i don't want to make it too heavy jody i'm always i really am happy i have so much to be thankful for that even when things are bad they're not as bad as things could be and so honestly for the most part i'm Pretty much always happy um it's rare it's rare for me to have a down day to where i'm not happy it's very very real um i just i just enjoy life and i feel very blessed for all that i've been blessed with and yep it's definitely the lord um you know he gives me strength and courage to keep going even when things are bad. You know, I realize that, you know, it's like I told somebody one day, I said, you know, whenever I'm stressed and I'm worried about something, because, you know, we always say, or I know I do, I always tell everybody, God's got it all in control. God's got it all in control. But then the next breath, I'm worried and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so stressed. What happens if this happens? Or, you know, what if this goes wrong? Um, wait a minute. I just said God's got it all in control. But now I'm doubting that he's got it in control because I'm worried. Wait, no. And I don't even remember. It. And it hit me one day because I used to stress all the time about every single little thing. And my husband can tell you now, I don't stress about anything. I really don't. And I got to thinking about, I said, you know, either I believe that he's all got it all in control or I have to say, no, I don't think he's got it all in control. And for me, I choose to believe that he does have it all in control. So I'm not, I don't worry about it anymore. I mean, it's my husband. He, he doesn't understand sometimes because that man worries for enough for both of us. But I just. Yeah, that's why I'm always here. The first time I saw you was in a love with Anna. Oh, thank you, Tammy. Yeah, he really does have it all in control. I mean, he really, really, really does. And I just, you know, like I said, I choose to just, I choose to put my faith and trust in him. He's never failed me yet. So I think he's got a pretty good track record. So I think I'll be all right. <laughs> And again, guys, I'm sorry if this AC is too loud. It, I can't turn it off right now. And yeah, it's hot enough down here that the AC's running. Craziness. I know. I know. So yeah, when I think my husband has seen maybe one time, maybe one time that I was stressed, but I probably wasn't stressed like most people were stressed. I would just, I could tell that I was like getting a little anxious about something. And he's like, what's wrong? I was like, I'm stressed. And he was like, wait, what? You're stressed? And I was like, well, just a little bit, you know, not real bad. But for me, it was a, you know, I was a little stressed. And he was like, okay, that that's very unusual. Because <laughs> it is. I just... I just don't, I don't worry about things. I got, 
I got too much other stuff to deal with to stress over something. So, and y'all, I'm I'm just crafting away like I'm just y'all see how I'm doing. I'm just running my mouth and crafting away. So I just took my little get because my other and um, my tag punch is in my craft room and I um, don't feel like going to get it because I got too much right here so I just made me a template with that little gift card thing I've made a little tag that can slide down hopefully in here okay we might have to trim it it would have been nice probably if I had measured first but you guys know me that would have made too much sense so I'm going to go ahead and trim that top off because I think it will be too long. Okay. Now, let me try that. And then I'll see the tag. Okay, that's better. Uh, guys, I don't know what I'm going to do with myself sometimes. I just get in a hurry and I don't even think. You know? I'll get it. So now I have a tag in there. Yeah, would have been way too easy. Um, yes, Jody, this is a journal that um, I'm supposed to meet the lady in a little bit to pick this one up and at least one more. I have seven journals that I have to finish up today. Plus, I have to finish um, redoing Miss Deanna's um, Tim Holtz journal. So, yeah, it's one of them crazy kind of days for me so i think okay let's cut this into a square y'all get to see how i really craft now so it's one two and three quarters so i need to cut this at two and three quarters Because y'all know I craft crazy. I think I'm going to fold it this way. If y'all saw the, um, oh, I don't know where I get my energy from because I don't sleep. I just, I do not sleep. Now, wait a minute. I'm lying. Y'all, I slept four hours and ten minutes last night. Look at that. Four hours and ten minutes, y'all. I, I don't know what. That's a lot of sleep for me. So I'm like, whoa, what happened there? I have no idea. I mean, I was I was tired from the um, craft fair, so I did. I tried to come home yesterday, and I hated not being productive, and that's why I done. I did do the um design with me because I didn't have the energy to do anything physical but I hated just sitting there not being productive and so I done the design with me and then I'm like okay I need to do some more and then I'm like nope I'm not I'm not doing anything else I'm done so done and I just I don't know I just don't sleep I'm never I've never been one to sleep like that you know like even as a teenager and all, mm -mm. I can't do it. If I sleep till 6 o'clock in the morning, I'm like, oh my God, I have slept half the day away. My husband, he laughs at me because that's how he can tell um, if I'm sick or something. If I'm in the bed at like six or seven o'clock he's like uh okay are you okay what's going on <laughs> so all I, as you can see guys all i'm doing is just putting a little you know some little stuff on here um because you know the recipient will actually fill these envelopes up with stuff um but i want them to still look good i want them to look nice um, you know what? I think that would be cute on that strap right there. Let's do that. 
let's do it and i am going to cut it oh i cannot see oh my god these stripes these lines are like playing with my eyes and i got it good i got it okay so Thank you. The AC cut off. Whew. All right, so I cut that at seven. Actually, I'm going to have to cut it a little shorter than seven because my book is seven, but my envelopes are smaller than that. So let me do. Why don't you measure it, Betty Renfro? Why don't you do that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Because y'all know I was about to just do my little thing like I normally do and just guess at it. Mm -hmm. That's what I was about to do. Because I'm good at doing that and then I'll mess up and then I'll be like, what happened? Mm -hmm. So, I just kind of finally decided to measure it. Aren't you proud of me, Miss Deanna? I measured it, kind of, sort of. Well, not really, but kind of. Okay, so I'll um, glue this down as a belly band. And I'm going to glue it down right here. Okay. And then we'll put something in there. And then what do we want on this here? Um... See, Miss Deanna's proud of me because I measured it. I'm proud of myself. Because <laughs> that's out. That's not something I normally do. Well, y'all didn't realize I have these. Look at that. These came in that kit. Well, some of it's in like whatever. Remember our meeting. Okay. So some of it is in Ukraine. Like one side is in Ukraine. And the other side is, I don't know. Okay, so I'm not going to mess with those like that. Oh, I do have some of these. I don't know if these will match, but I can. Some of these will match. Let's use some of this. These are some of the journal cards from, I don't know, I don't know. I got this at Tuesday morning, and I got like a pack of 25 of these sheets for $2.99, I think. And I figured I can always use journal cards, so I grabbed it. Oh, yeah, Edith, it, she's, you know, this is a tough time of year for them. Um... Definitely a tough time. Um, so definitely keep them in your prayers. Um, and they will be having a, um, I think her and Melina are doing a live on, oh God, is it Thursday? I'd have to look. I think it's like a Christmas card live or something. Um, so you guys make sure that you go and check them out. I know you will. I know you guys do. Um, so make sure you check them out on Thursday. But she's, and y'all, they were so sweet to me. They, um, uh, last week they sent me a beautiful, beautiful dish garden. Um, you know, had it sent to my house, and um, it was just, it was so beautiful. Yes, I'm happy to see that she's crafting more, for sure. You know, and it's hard when you lose somebody, especially a spouse. I can't even imagine. I, I really, I don't even want to imagine. That just, uh, it takes strength. And it's a strength that only God can give. So. 
But you guys, I'm so thankful for all of you that helped them during all of that and are still continuing to help them. You guys are amazing. Every one of you are. Okay, so now I've got these. And I think I am going to put this one like right here and make it into a tuck. And I'm not even going to round the corners. Can y'all believe that? Because I've got to get this one done and I've got to get a couple more done. And I've got to go meet the lady and then I have church tonight. So, yeah. And I haven't even ate lunch yet. Did I eat breakfast? Wait, I still have part of a sausage biscuit in my purse. Oh my God. I just remembered that. I couldn't eat all of my breakfast, so I had folded my sausage biscuit up and I put it in my purse. Y'all, seriously. Let me make sure. Okay, I'm getting my purse. Let me look. I know. Yep. Okay, guys, y'all ready? That was in my purse. <laughs> My sausage biscuit. It's a deer sausage biscuit. Oh my god, y'all. I'll, I'll eat that when I get done. <laughs> I'm glad I thought of that. Oh my god. <sighs> y'all, I don't know what to do with me. And I think I'm going to put this one down here as a tuck. Yeah. How bad would that have been? Go uptown or go to the store? I don't know. And pull out a sausage biscuit out of my purse. Oh my God. Guys. I don't even know. I don't know what to tell y'all about me. I don't have a clue. Okay. So I think that is actually coming along. And I probably... Um... That would have been cute in the front but you know what we're going to glue this down right here and i'm just going to glue this down i'm not going to make it a pocket or anything okay so let me glue this down yes miss deanna y'all gotta love me because y'all never ever ever know what to expect with me never Shoot, who am I kidding? I don't even know what to expect with me. Huh. So see, they can put stuff here. They can put stuff here. They can put stuff in here. Well, I've got a tag in there. And then they have there. And then they can open it up and they can write notes here. And then we have this here. And then I'll put some stuff in there. And I'm probably just going to tie it closed with some sorry silk. And I probably need to put... Um, something on the cover and I'll do that um, let me grab the journals ah, maybe Hang on. I'm trying to grab them okay so these are the um... Hang on. let me move these out of the way y'all know I got to Get my stuff situated as I like to say. So I'll show you the three um, little golden book Christmas journals that are available. And so if anybody, if you're in, let me, let me too. Before I go telling you a price, let me jump on the post office website really quick and just make sure what I can um, send it out for. Um, send already now twenty two price files oh, here's calculate the price um let's do a flat rate box three two three oh eight and we'll just put um I don't even know if this is a zip code, but it should be. Just, it shouldn't matter with it being a flat rate. Oh yeah, it's invalid. Okay, I knew that, dummy. You're the one making me put a zip code. Okay. 
so I can do a small and I think it will fit in a small flat right box so 1040 is what that would cost so okay let me do Jane so that I'll make sure I have a good price thing thank you for giving me an out a zip code because I couldn't even think of a zip code guys how bad is that okay so yeah the price is going to be so it looks like I can ship it for 1040 so um I will do how about forty dollars that includes shipping so forty dollars flat um and that I'll send it priority mail so I have this one and this one is the night before Christmas again this is the um this is not like my normal ones, you know, where I have all the stuff, but it is a very nice journal for sure. Um, the story is intact and in order. Um, so you have, you know, you have your story. It's got some blank pages in here. It's got some scrapbook papers. Um, it's got some little cards and tags. This one has a pocket right, right here. This is a huge pocket. Um, it's got a pocket back here with, you know, another pocket stuck down in it. It's got some stickers. Um, this is the second signature. There's that story. It's got an envelope. Um, so it's, you know, pretty much the same throughout. It's got, just got like the story and some scrapbook papers. It does have some little, um, embellishments, a few, not a lot. Um, but the one thing about this, these journals here is that the signatures are not sewn in. They are put in um, using the elastic system, which means you can switch these pages out. You can add pages. You can do all sorts of stuff. Um, so this book can grow with you. So this one is the night before Christmas. So $40 shipped, $40 flat. Um, if you are interested, um, you know, let me know, post it in the comment, um, then my email, I will need you to email me your, um, address and stuff. And my email is bettydmoney at gmail.com. And then you can pay, um, PayPal friends and family only. Okay, Miss Jody. So you want this one? Um, send me an email, bettydmoney at gmail.com. Give me your information. Um, and my PayPal is the bettydmoney at gmail.com and do it friends and family. And I'll get this in the mail. Um, okay. Um, that's fine. I, I'm not worried about you. So I'll set this one to the side. So this one is not available. Um, the night before Christmas. So the next one that I have is, um, I have Cash App. I don't know if I have Venmo. I'll look. I don't know. My kids do all that. They do that stuff for me. Um, so this one is Jingle Bells. So it's going to be the same basic thing as the night before Christmas. Um, the story is intact and in order. Um, so it's got some scrapbook papers. It's got, you know, the, uh, this is the one, guys, that I made on um, on one of my lives, remember I stuck a spoon in it. And so I've just left the spoon in there. <laughs> so y'all have a spoon. Whoever gets this one will get a spoon because <laughs> I'm leaving it. So there we go. It's the story. Um, yeah, Jody, let me look. And let me look. Send me an email with all your information and I will look and see if I have them though. Because I don't, I really don't know. I think I may. So I, I think this one has it in there too. Did I put, yeah, it's got all kinds of little stuff in it. I wanted to make sure. And then it's got like this color, the little coloring book. It's got, you know, more of the story, some stamping, um, envelopes. It's got, you know, just all kinds of little stuff in it. Letter to Santa. Um, it's Betty, B-E-T-T-Y, D as in David, money m-o-n-e-y at gmail.com okay so this one is the um 
Jingle Bells. Okay, so the same thing, $40 shipped. So cute. And then this one is the Christmas Story. And so it has the same, it's the same basic thing. It's, you know, the story is intact and in order. Um, I just got some stuff down in the pockets here. Um, but it's basically, it's more of a blank journal, but it's because it's something that you can add to. Um, and I will probably end up adding a few more things to this one before I ship it out. Hi, Lou. So that's what it is. I did glue that on the look down, huh? So this one is the, um, the Christmas story. So the two that are still available are these two right here because Miss Jody is getting the night before Christmas. So $40 shipped. PayPal, friends and family only. Hi, Kiwi. So those are the ones I have right now. And then um, I have a couple of fabric journals that are now available. I've got a few that didn't sell. Um, and I will come back and show you guys those, but I've got to get these other things finished um, so I can meet the lady. Um, but I will finish the, or finish these journals today, and then I'll come back and show y'all. Um, and then, hi, Miss Johnny. Oh, Miss Johnny, did you join my um, my member? You get member benefits. Thank you, thank you. So there are definitely some good member benefits if you guys join as a um, monthly subscriber, member, whatever it is. Um, but anyway, I'm going to jump off of here because I need to finish up these journals real quick. Um, and I normally, I find myself, I run my mouth too much whenever I'm like doing these lives. Y'all know me, y'all know that I do that. From watching the video the lives with me and Edith y'all know I run my mouth so I need to go ahead and finish this one get some um, ephemera stuck down in the envelopes and thank you miss Johnny so you will start getting your um, member benefits I have to look and see because you joined today today's for the 15th and um, I'll see when it's like when they go out I'll take a look and see and let you know but yeah you get some good good benefits for sure so guys if you um want information you can join my monthly membership club um that's something that YouTube is apparently had started offering and so um you get like free digitals um each month um before they even get released and all sorts of stuff so you also get some stuff sent to you haha <laughs> okay anyway guys i am going to jump off of here um <laughs> miss johnny you are so sweet you really are Thank you so much. Um, I'm going to jump off of here so that I can finish um, putting the stuff in the envelopes for this journal here. I'm going to work on the other journals that I have to get done today. Guys, look at this. Y'all, this is what all I have to get done today. Wait, there's more. There's more. Hang on. There's more. I can't reach one of them. I know there's another one. There's like five more. Yeah. So I have to get all these done today before church. Yeah. And still have to meet the lady. So I've got a lot to do. But anyway, guys, I love you all. Thank you all so much for crafting with me today. I appreciate all that you guys do for me. You guys are amazing. Um, and thank you. I really do mean that from the bottom of my heart. I do mean it. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get off of here. I will talk to you later. Bye, guys. Let's see if I can end this. Y'all know how it goes with me trying to end these things, right? <laughs> all right, let's try it.